everybody, this is Paul Sykes doing another box opening from DN Models. And today we have Hobby Boss's new IDF Puma. It says on the front that it's an APC, in fact, it's an engineering vehicle. Right. In the box, you get some colour clips on the side with the different markings. A little bit of an explanation about what the vehicle does in history and its history. On the other side, we get some more colour plates. There's quite a lot of decals in this one. Let's see what we get inside. I've noticed this lately, there's a lot of these sheets in for different tools and different companies. I think a lot of the products here are trumpeters and hobby bosses. Oh, that could be wrong. And then we get another pamphlet. We all new things that are coming out. Corsair, Focke Wolf, mainly German things. And then an overall view on the Puma. The rather nice colour sheet. That's it. Plenty of options for different markings. I quite like this one here with the with the Puma's head. Very nice. Instructions, we'll get to them in a while. Right, what do we get in the box? First, we have the hull bottom and the top. The problem I find with this top, it's very, very nice detail. It's okay. This. That should be a hole where the hatches are. And I don't understand why they've done it like this. But I'm not hobby boss, so it's up to them. But that is a bad idea. There should be a hole there. So you'll have to cut your own hole if you want to have some figures standing in the hatches. Right, here we go with the first of the sprues. This one is for the suspension. You get a few other bits in it, but overall it's mainly suspension. And you get three of these. The way they've done the suspension, it's all separate. It's instead of one big chunky piece and they've done a very nice job. Then they end up doing something like this, which the little pots there at the end have a flag in and they get dropped off the side of the vehicle for when they're clearing minefields and they're supposed to have a dome shape to the bottom and they don't look anything like the real thing yet they can do the FM mag holder I mean swing arm and that's perfect that's absolutely spot on and then we get this which is a ammo can holder and basically that's the bottom of the holder upside down that should be the bottom but they tell you to have that on the top and just little things like this with Hobby Boss. They make some parts of the kit really, really well. Like the idler wheel, really, really nice. And then the machine gun as well. That's very nice, quite detailed. And then we come to the hatch. The hatch is really, really thin. And the real thing, it's very, very quite a chunky piece. And the padding, the padding's quite deep as well. And as you can see there, nothing. And it's little things like that that, yeah, some people will, be, will build it straight out of the box, but when you're paying quite a bit of money, which this kit is, 45 to 50 pound, it is a lot of money for detail like that. With the people, the other companies on the on market today, they should be trying a lot better. They should be getting things a lot better than this. Here we are in the spring. These pieces there, they're for the rear for the towing hooks. As I was saying about Hobby Boss getting things half and half, it's like these, the releases for the step downs of the, on the side of the vehicle, they're really, really nice. Very, very nice. And we get a ladder, 
see a lot of the engineering vehicles the Israelis use, they'll have a ladder on. Some grab handles. And these are the smoke pots. Another, FM, another FM mag. This is part of the overhead weapon system, which is remote control. Right. Here comes some bigger parts. This is part of the, well, this is the main body on top. And like I said, you've got these big holes or hatches, <laughs> and then it's solid underneath. Well, the, Look at that depth, and then it's solid, so if you want to put figures in, you've either got to cut the figures' bodies, or you've got to cut part of the kit. And I'm sorry, but that's unacceptable. Fender supports. Final house driving here, and here. And we get a 60mm mortar. Sorry, but that could be a little bit better than what it is. I might just be nitpicking because I'm I bought his really armor, but some of the detail is nice, but others like these grab handles are very, very fine and a little bit too soft. Here we are with the tracks. We get four of these. Not much cleaning up to. They're quite nice. And here we are with the fenders. Not much detail on these. So more or less get covered up. And then we come to the sprue with all the big pieces on. Here we get the side skirts. And some of the rear bins. It's quite a nice detail on that. These are very nice. These are the protector, protectors of them. Let me show you. These are the air cleaners. And these are the perforated toga type uh, shields that protect them. They're very nice. I like how they've done them. <clears throat> the overhead weapon system, which is quite nice. This is what I mean about the detail. This detail is just a little bit too... It's not good enough, it's not... It could be doing with being raised a little bit more. Get a couple of layers of paint on that and it's going to diminish it even more. With the hatch, that's the main hatch for the back. And this, sorry about that, this is the problem, it's very, very, there's not much gap there at all, that should be quite padded. And here we are with a sprue for the wheels, you get four of these. Some nice detail on both sides as well. As I've said throughout this video, They'll do one thing really well and then let it down by other things. Which when you get the likes of Meng, AFV Club, Tacom and Bronco bringing out kits that are just second to none. These should be striving for that if they're wanting to sell more kits. Here we have the photo etch from the kit and these 
and the shields that go over the periscopes. And then we get some quite nice ammo can holders. And these are ammo can holders as well that go on next to the main hatch. And I think these parts are for the mud guards. Give a bit of photo watch detail. Got some straps. And these here, they go on the, the lame width markers, the little tubs that I was talking about, that they've done incorrectly. They go on them. It's a real shame that they've not done them right, because they do look quite funky once they're uh, put all together. Here we are with the rear part of the wheels. A little bit like a V club but they're a little a little bit stiffer a little bit sturdier so maybe they'll glue quite well whereas everybody knows a V club ones on their centurions a bit of a bitch to keep on anyway we'll I'll tell with time here we are with the perspex clear perspex get some headlights and this, this square part that's the red weapon system. It's glass at the front, and this is the armor glass that goes directly in front of that. That's done quite nicely. Here we are with the deco sheet. Lots of choices in the decals. On the Puma's head, that's quite a nice one. and the Puma with the writing underneath. But unfortunately, I believe that that writing is the wrong way around. I've just checked as well, and I can confirm it is the wrong way around. But if you're not too bothered about that. Here we go with the instructions. As usual, a list of all the parts and then we we'll start with the wheels these are the rubber parts so we'll see when we come to them what they're like that's the rear uh, part of the vehicle the Israeli Centurions carry six extra track on the back with the suspension. That's very nicely done. That's everything going together. Showing how many track links to put on. And it's 106 each side. Maybe when you've got the side skirts on, you don't have to put the top ones on. Although that would be down to the individual. Some water cans. And this is the step down I was talking about earlier. Smoke discharger. This is the step down and the part there when you step on that, they just flop, uh, flop down. They're on like a spring attachment. Air cleaners and their armor uh, supports. This is the box I was talking about. That should be upside down. It sh they should be at the bottom. And the fender's gone. This is the overhead weapon system. I like 
couple of times. The FM mugs, you've got to make three of these. This is the main body housing. The hatches. There's a rear basket. This is quite nice. This is probably one of the highlights of the kit to go along with the suspension. It's very nice and it's spot on as well. Everything's going to stuff the hull, top of the hull. That's a driver's hatch. Run it all together. And everything goes onto the hole then. The drawings in these instructions are really, really well done. There's the side skirts. The side skirts are slightly small. They should be a little bit deeper and slightly longer. I've looked at some references and some scale drawings and they're just, just a little bit short. And there we have the finished article. Overall, it's not a bad kit, but just little things let it down. Some of the detail, it's not as crisp as it should be. And some things have got completely wrong which is a shame because I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. Thanks for looking.